My next video, we're gonna talk about the bypass valve. And it's this little piece right here. The valves will fail if that spring gets all rusty and your water chemistry is all out of whack. So the whole purpose of this is that when on high speed, it opens up like this and the water goes straight through. Some of it goes through the filter, so it's not filtered as good. So it's on low speed, it doesn't have enough power to push that open. So it forces the water up on one side of the canister and through the filter and out through the other side. So a filter is a lot better on low speed. This piece fails more often than you think. We have a Coyote Spa. Right now it's working fine. Once in a while you get three lines and it's looking for heat. It wasn't an error code, it was just thinking way too long. Like the sensor was trying to pick up what the temperature was. So you pulled the filter, the flow came on, three lines were there and then flow came on. Pulled the filter and flow still wouldn't go away. So I looked on the bottom of the filter, this style here, and it's a little flap on the bottom. It sits like this, way on the bottom. So when it's on low speed, it shuts because it has a spring. It shuts and the water goes up and around the filter and filter is better on low speed. And when it's on high, it just opens up and some water goes past through it and then some goes through the filter. That's the purpose of it. If you don't have this, it doesn't filter properly. It does filter, but not as, not as well if you had this on there. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna turn it off, turn it back on, see if I get that code again. And I think the flat's gone. Like this part here is gone with the spring. This other part's still in there. And I think it's in there somewhere. Sometimes you get a flow issue, and that's the only thing I can think of. So we pulled the filter and the pump's working fine. It's gotta be something clogged in there. Let's turn it off right now, turn it back on, and see if uh, those three lines come on again. So those are the three lines. It just seems like it's taken way too long for it to think. Because right now, like the tub was running and it was at 104. So I'm not going to push high speed because it might push that thing around if that's the problem. There is a gecko pack, a YE pack. They always have a lot of sensor problems. I think it's that flap. Like that should be coming back on. Like it was 104. So that's what it was doing before and then flow came on. It took a while, but uh, it did come back on. It's 103. Because we turned it off and back on, it's just going through its filtration cycle. It shows that it's heating right there. Pump one on low speed. So I'm gonna turn it off and drain it and look inside the pipe. Power's off and I just put the quick drain in. Right on the bottom there. That's where the flap's supposed to be. I'm also going to take this side off here. Maybe got stuck in the pump. Located the pump, so that piece would have went from there right to the front of that impeller. There's no way that can get through. So it's not going to be over at the element. So if it's going to be there, it's going to be in front of that element. Hopefully it's not stuck right before there, before this, because it does narrow down. I'm going to open that now and see if it's in there. So we looked inside here, and there was just leaves, like right there. A bunch of leaves were in there. I don't feel anything else. Well, we'll drain the rest of it, and then uh, I'll open this up and see if there's anything in there. It's hard to see, but I got it out. You can kind of see it out. That's it right there. Now, there's the old one. That's the old one here. This is another customer's. Here's a new one. There's different types, but I don't think this one can fit in there. But I wonder... Because I can't find that uh, flap. I wonder if it was taken out previously. The owner is new to this tub, so I can't ask him if uh, they ever worked on it or that this was stuck in there before. I don't. It's small enough that it would just go here. Normally, it's in front of that pump. 
it can't get past that. But I'm gonna check the element anyway. Sometimes I get hung up on the element. That's if the pack's before the pump. If the pu pump's pulling water through the element. This one here, it's after. So there's no way it can get in there. You never know, that's why you check it anyway. No way, it's right in the center there. There's nothing there. Now we can hear the rattling around. Yeah, just for fun, I'm gonna take the ends off and move that and see if I can see if there's anything in there. I doubt it, but you just can't rule everything out. Well, I can't find that flap, so I have to rule that out. Um, might have been taken out previously. So there's nothing in there. Um, I can't get past that pump. So I'm gonna assume that uh, that's been taken out a while ago because even the spring's gone. Now, I don't know what the flow was because we had the filter out and the three lines, the sensor issue. So. I would say that this is about to go. And the Taurus, the YE5, the Gecko, it's expensive too because you can't just change one sensor or the element. It's all one piece. You have the two sensors built in and you have the element built in. You can't just change it out. It's just, yeah, when you have those three lines like that and it's searching and searching and searching for the temperature when you just turn it off, it shouldn't take that long. It just pointed at that flap. It just happened that the flap was missing when I looked. Right now, it goes right back to what I originally thought. It's gonna be a sensor issue. So eventually, this tube's gonna go. But we will put a new one of these in. It'll help it filter better. 